In this video, I want to introduce discrete random variables. Okay? I'm going to look at a very basic example. Uh, we're going to be rolling two fair six-sided dice and just adding the scores. Okay? So, what we're going to say is that the discrete random variable x is the score of adding those two dice together. Okay, so what do we mean by discrete? Firstly, uh, a discrete number or a discrete set of data ER is a set of data that can only take on particular values. So for us, uh, when we're adding these scores together, um, we can only get certain scores. I can't get a score of 2.5. I can't get a score of 100. Okay, so there are only particular scores that I can get. Secondly, random. Well, is it random? Yes, in the sense that I am rolling a die and because it's fair, the result will be random. Okay, it could be any of them. Variable, we would say it's a variable because the scores can vary. Okay, so hence this discrete random variable. So what we can do is we can draw out a table of the possible results. So I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 for the first die. And then the scores of the second die, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And then I could add those scores together. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I didn't choose a very good pen. Let's try another. Um, what have we got? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so this table shows me all of the possible results that I can get. Now we'll notice that some of these results, some of the numbers can come up in more than one way. Okay, so for example, the probability of, well, the ways of getting seven is that there's one, two, three, four, five, six ways of getting a seven. Okay, so this is kind of like why when you're playing Monopoly or something like that, then the most likely roll that you're going to roll is a 7, okay? Because it appears six times more so than any other roll. So, this is one way of displaying it. What I preferably want is a way of representing the actual probabilities of getting these scores. So, we're going to set up a new table where we're going to have the values of x, so the possible scores that it can take, and the probability of the score being each of those. So we will have a table where the x is, well, all the possible answers I can get are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. And below each one of these, I'm going to write the probability of actually getting it. So a 2 can only come up once out of the 36 times, so that's 1 out of 36. A 3 can come up twice out of 36. A 4 can come up 3 times, so 3 out of 36. 5 is 4 times, 4 out of 36. 6 is 5 times, so 5 out of 36. 7, we've already discussed, is 6 times. Then an 8 is 5. Then a 9 is 4. Then a 10 is 3. Then an 11 is 2. And finally, there is only one way of getting 12, double 6. Okay? So this table that we have here is, is described as a discrete probability distribution. So this is a discrete probability 
distribution. Now, there's a couple of ways of writing down a discrete probability distribution, okay? But this is one of those ways, okay, in this tabular format. So, with that in mind, you could then represent this graphically using uh, what's referred to as a stick graph. So, a stick graph looks something like this. You have the probabilities up the sides, and then you've got your x's along the bottom. Okay, so we're going up in uh, one, so we've got zero there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, and we're going to have, well, our probabilities are going from 1 to 6 out of 36. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 1 out of 36, 2 out of 36, 3 out of 36, 4, 5, and 6. And then we can draw this in. And it's stick graph. They're just sticks. They're just lines. So 1, uh, there's no probability 1, sorry. So 2 is 1 out of 36, then we've got 2 out of 36, 3 out of 36, 4 out of 36, 5 out of 36, much easier when you're doing this on paper, 7 out of 36, then you've got 5 out of 36 again, then 4, then 3, then 2, and then 1. Okay, so what we would get is actually a symmetric looking graph, this stick graph, and it shows how the probabilities are distributed, hence the distribution. Okay, so we're, talk we're still talking about rolling two dice. This is a graphical method of representing it. Here is a way of writing out the probabilities, and this uh, sample space that we have here is yet another way of representing the same thing. The way that is most useful out of all of this is the discrete probability distribution. And it's this way that we really want to get used to using. Okay, And I'm going to show you a few problems that you can be asked that uses this. Now, before we move on to uh, the next video on this, one thing that is quite clear and one conclusion that we can make is when you think about what all of these probabilities must add up to okay and they must add up to one so what we can say is that the sum of all the probabilities so all of the probabilities of x being equal to little x, all of those must be equal to 1. Okay? And it's this fact that we'll be able to utilise in the next couple of videos.